Good morning, hustle babes. So today is September 17th and we have a bit of things to do on today's agenda. First up, I'm going to head to the service dealership place because your girl got to pick up her car. And then we have to visit a venue for the engagement party. And then we got some other stuff planned. But first, let's get out of here because I am running behind. And my goal was to be out of here by 9 a.m. And so technically it's not really my fault, it's more his fault. But nonetheless, let's go. Are you excited? I hope everything is smooth. We're about to like find out. To We're about to find out. Oh, you're gonna test, you're gonna ride yeah. with me? Yeah. All right, so I gotta fix Julio because I left him here to watch the car. And he did a great job. So I gotta fix him and put him in his seat. And all this crap is actually Andy's stuff. He has a shovel. I don't know why he has a shovel in my car. Question I asked him. And a basketball in here, so I'm gonna throw that stuff out now that I got my car back, you know? So fast forward, it's currently 125. Um, didn't get to talk to you guys in between because we were trying to rush. Our appointment at the venue was actually at 11 and we pulled up at 12, so <laughs> CPT at its finest. But um, we just like got, we just like got. We just like got. What? Done with touring the venue and honestly this one is like bomb okay so a1 steak sauce like y'all like we've been looking at venues for like two three months we were settling on a few things we had one that we loved overall but then when we came here this one is like taking that one and giving it like a, a modern facelift if that makes any yeah. sense so like our theme is like um a parisian kind of love romance theme like this one had chandeliers it had the grand stairs that we wanted it had a lobby area that we can use for stuff uh even a room for us to get dressed in and then it was just a one and on top of that y'all on top of that the on most top important. of that the on most top important. of that that was legitness. Yeah. The, the most, most important, important thing is black owned, y'all. Like, hello. Like, why would you even want to give your coin somewhere else? And the person who owns it is like this bomb.com event decorator and planner. And if we could get everything all in one, it's A1. Andy said he ready to put the deposit down. I'm ready. We ready to put the deposit down. We need to lock this in, but yeah. I want to show you guys clips of it, but I don't want to ruin it for you guys. What I will do is I will show you the ones that we're not getting. So I'll insert like maybe two other ones that we looked at right now. And those weren't bad, but they just weren't it. So like one of them was basically like an empty space that we would have to transform. And then the other one had a little bit more. It had the stairs. It was a little bit older. It had the antique vibe, but it was two different layers. And we were very concerned with separating our engagement party. Currently, we are at this place called Bombay Kitchen for the very first time. I am going to be getting some curry lamb. Hopefully, it's really good. And probably and sick. Why would I be sick? Because it's going to mess up your stomach. So it's going to mess up your stomach, too. You're going to blow the bathroom up. <laughs> <laughs> Before I can eat my Indian food, I got to do some stuff for this meeting that I have at 5. I got to make sure all my agenda items are together for this client meeting. I'm going to show you all a little sneak peek of what I got going on. This is a preview of a landing page that I'm creating for my client. It's super cute. Um, so I am wrapping that up as well as making sure her freebie is all together. And something I love to do when I work is I actually watch YouTube like on the side. This is a habit that I developed while I was in corporate America where I had something on the side watching or listening to while I did work. So. 
let me know if you do this too. I'm currently watching Vlogtober by DK4L, even though this Vlogtober is like from 2017. I just love fall and then I love Christmas, so I like rewatch all their stuff. But let me know if that's weird or not and if you do something like that too. If you haven't had Indian food, you're missing out. So let me tell you how um, Andy, he ate his before me when technically he should have waited for me to eat, but it's okay, I didn't want him to die. He ate his before me and he said it was bomb.com. Did you make sure you ate the goat? Mm -hmm. How you make sure that? Because goat and lamb taste the same. But if it tastes the same, then it's about eight. Mine is but lamb. lamb is high class. But mine said label, remember? You, you read mine, you said. I thought good. it said goat. What do you mean? I had to make out the words because some of the marker was scratched <laughs> off. That's going to be yours. But way. lamb is a higher, a higher end version of goat. Which do I, I don't understand why they were the same price. So are they just giving me goat and calling it lamb? <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, I got curry, lamb. Well, the oil kind of went to the top. I got to mix it. Wait, did they not give us any forks? Nah. I no spoons neither? Nobody. Am I supposed to eat with my hands? I started doing that halfway. It was but, but they actually do eat with their hands. Well, that's I remember. Why I remember we saw it? They do this I I eating with the that. bread. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. I can't do that with these nails. Can you imagine getting curry on these nails? My white nails would be orange green. But yeah, so I'm just gonna taste it. You tasted it cold? You told me it's okay cold. That's true. It was okay though. It's gonna be better hot though. Oh, I tell you. It's not that spicy. Until you heat it up and get into the seams, you gotta you gotta stir it. It's probably because you've been a wimp lately. Right, that's true. That's true. You're not that spicy. That's valid. It then automatically comes with white rice, so it's like white. Uh, what is it called again? Basmati. Bas basmati. Basmati. Basmati rice, and then you have to get nans. Nan. 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 Why can't I? Say Today, non. So I get garlic non. Nan. Non. Non. Garlic. <laughs> What's up with you, B? I get garlic non. But yeah, y'all, get y'all some Indian food. Especially if you're in Atlanta. The best Indian food I've had so far has been. What's up, the baby dancers? Oh, I can't know that name. What's that name? Cafe Bombay. The best. Hands down. If you're in Atlanta, Cafe Bombay. Then you could do. Bariachi biryani, second best. This place, I'm just trying for the first time, but get you some Indian food. So, I didn't get a chance to close out or even finish vlogging the other day when I actually got my car back because, oh my God, it has been crazy. It took two weeks off to kind of work on the back end of my business, ended up still working on client stuff, and then come came back to days, books of calls this week. And on top of that, I am going somewhere very exciting at the end of this week. So it's, it was just a bad week for me to come back. My friend was like, why didn't you just take three weeks off? And I was like, hmm, that would've been a great idea. But I didn't think about that. And because I do monthly coaching as well, and I meet with my monthly coach, Hustle Babes, twice a month, I wanted them to have room to book for this month. So I didn't want to take three weeks off of September. I'm trying to figure out why Julio isn't in the shot give me a second let me fix him because this is ridiculous look at julio y'all he's like i don't want to be in here i've been sitting in this car since you took me to the mechanic and i want to get out but good thing is i'm gonna take him out of the car when i actually move into my office so he just got a little bit to wait but nonetheless this is julio y'all are gonna see more of him today is like maybe five days after i got the car I went and got like my tags and stuff done and all that stuff um, and I'm gonna get it detailed and stuff when I get back from where I'm going and I'm also going to get my speaker fixed that is what is happening I am super 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 y'all know I love the words the word super super grateful um that I was able to actually pay the amount that it took to fix my car some people are gonna be watching this and they're gonna be like if it costs that much to fix your car you should have got a new one no this is a Jag XF. Let's start there. And so the value of this car, although it depreciates like other cars, it doesn't depreciate as fast, okay? Fun fact, Maseratis dep depreciate in value really fast, almost as fast as like a Nissan or something. But anyway, 
with jags the depreciation is slow but it hasn't depreciated like drastically and so the cost of me to fix the car was literally less than one fifth of what it's worth either less than one fifth or less than one fourth about there of how much it's worth so for me to fix it was a no-brainer because i could still after it's fixed then sell it and get more and then if i put a new system in that's even better and then also if i add some other features that i've been thinking about adding in here that's going to up the value as well which means i will get more than what the count the car is valued right now obviously when i bought it it was valued more because i bought it in 2016 it's now 2020 so obviously i'm not going to get the exact amount that I paid for it but i've used it so i'm going to be able to get something so I'm excited for that, but nonetheless, I am grateful that I was able to pay to get my car fixed, pay to get it detailed, I mean, when I get it detailed, and pay for all that at the same time while we're moving into a new home and all that jazz. So I'm just grateful and thankful to God that he has blessed me and that I was patient and went through what I went through because I wouldn't have been where I am today if I didn't go through what I, I, I went through. I'm not nowhere near where, I don't wanna say I wanna be, but I'm not nowhere near where I know God is gonna place me. So I'm excited, I'm excited. And y'all about to come with me, that's the reason why I started this channel is because I wanted to kinda like document what it's like to not only be an entrepreneur and the struggles of entrepreneurship but i also wanted to document the rewards and the small things like my credit score reaching a certain amount or being able to do something that might be minor to like the super wealthy people but it's still something that you want to celebrate within your entrepreneurship journey so i'm excited to share that with y'all and stay tuned like i said i go somewhere very very interesting this friday and I'm gonna be taking y'all with me, right? And when you're watching this, I don't know what day it is, so it might not be whatever day I just said, but the next vlog after this is going to be exciting. I'm gonna record myself prepping for it and stuff, but just, just be prepped for it. But thank you guys for coming along with me to get my car and say bye, Julio. All right, peace, bye guys.